Bobby Selassie looks to have broken the young Kenyan. He has worked hard as Gebre Selassie. I haven't yet seen him glance around at Kwambai behind him. He's just up the tempo. Stuart said a few minutes ago that it's just a very gradual increasing of effort. And it is. It's a slow, slow process. Almost like a drip, drip, drip torture. Just make it hurt. You won't get results quickly, but they will come if you persevere. And Gebre Selassie now on his own. A little bit more bounce in the stride. And what is critical, Stuart, here too, is that when you get the lead, like, and at last you've broken a very stubborn opponent, there will inevitably be a little, little seeping of adrenaline into your veins, a little bit more energy you find, and the bounce will come back to your stride, and it will have got half an inch longer. And you multiply that hundreds of times, and it grows into feet and yards, and that's uh, becoming a very significant gap. Well, I hope that uh, James Kwambai... Uh, survives this race well. Here he is. I hope he survives it and I hope he achieves a really good personal record because he deserves it. From the performance he's put in today and I just hope we were saying he's running six minutes faster than he's ever run before. I mean he's a mile ahead of where he's been before in marathons. And I just hope that he can keep this going right the way to the end and get himself a personal best. Well he's, he, he's got to run inside two hours ten and surely he'll do that if he can keep going. There's still a way to go and uh, Gabriel Selassie now is away. He's away and it's now about 